two, two and one. Uh, the game is a ESPN regional game or ESPN Plus. It will be shown locally on six ABC. Uh, radio is twelve ten WPHD. And uh, at this point, we'll open up for uh, questions for Coach Cole. How's this as good a secondary as you're going to see yeah. all season? Yeah, this is a good secondary. Um, veterans, a lot of experience. Um, winners. You know, it's the same group that we've been seeing for uh, a couple of years now. Cook, you know, Shannon, all those guys, and uh, really impressed with uh, their cornerbacks as well. They're playing a lot of coverage, uh, you know, a lot of man coverage, and the corners are doing a nice job. What's your uh, plan at quarterback this game? I'm going to uh, continue to uh, let them compete during the week, and uh, we'll make a decision by the end of the week. That's all I have for you, though. I don't know if uh, they're both going to play or not, but I'm going to let it sort itself out this week. And I'm undetermined about a starter down too as well. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Did you get a practice in this morning, Coach? Yeah, we did. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. We just got off the field a couple minutes ago. How Joe's dropped, Joe Jones dropped off the depth yep. is, he, is he just not playing well? Is he hurt? Or? No, he's not playing well. He's got to get his focus back and, uh, and uh, be the same guy every day and develop consistency on and off the field. And uh, we, need, we need Joe Jones to, uh, to do that. And uh, to help our help our team, and uh, that's the challenge for him right now, is to you know to get back and uh, get to the point where he can help our team. We know he can, so we'll uh, we'll see how he responds. Coach Quinn has no doubt put his own fingerprints on this team. What is the difference between the Buffalo team you saw last year with the new coach and you? It's completely different. It's completely different. Really impressed with uh, the way he's coaching them uh, on offense. It's a very high tempo. They're getting 90 plays a game. Um, you know, it's more spread than they were previously under Turner. Uh, but yet, there's still that physical element. Uh, I think they're always going to have that physical element and, and running game element. Um, that's kind of characterized them. And then on defense, they're different. It's the it's a three-four scheme and uh, multiple looks. And uh, sometimes they'll they'll play, you know, two-gap technique. Other times they'll uh, stunt. And pressure from it, and get the safeties involved, and uh, or corners involved, which I would too if I were him, with the talent that they have at corner and safety. So, I think they're doing a great job. Uh, they're really hustling, and playing hard, and obviously they beat the team that uh, almost just beat us. So we have to uh, we have to get our get our butts in gear and get going. I noticed once that it's kind of glaring. There's their tops in uh, third down conversion, allowing opponents Correct. to convert, and your last in third down conversions. That's right. So, what do you do to get that figure moving upwards? Well, the first thing we got to do is take care of ourselves. You know, uh, stats notwithstanding, if if, if we're not uh, converting, you know, closer to forty percent, we really don't have a chance to be a good team. So, uh, irrespective of who we're playing this week, uh, we got to start converting better on third down. And again, we're talking receivers, we're talking protection, and we're talking the quarterback position. So, all three of those elements have to come together. We're going to keep working it, and. Uh, can manage the game a little bit better on first and second down, uh, but certainly they're they're doing a great job. I think uh, they might be leading the conference in three and outs uh, on the defensive side, so they're getting off the they're attacking and getting off the field. And then when they do get into third down, uh, they have a nice mix of pressure. They can play some man uh, because of the talented secondary they ha they have. Um, so they're doing a nice job on uh, on third down, and, and actually they're converting well on, on third down as well. So. Uh, in both areas of the field on, on third downs, we have to do better. The defense was better last week between third and fourth downs, and uh, our offense needs to improve dramatically. Uh, Davis came out of the game last week against Northern Illinois in quarter. Was that a coach's decision? I, you know, I don't know uh, if it was a coach's decision. I know they had made the switch the previous week on the, on the, uh, on the week off. Um, so I don't know, you know how it's going to shake out. But uh, the offense didn't really change uh, a great deal. Uh, depending on which quarterback was in the game. So we'll get ready for, uh, for, for either one, uh, Davis or Zordich. And then obviously they moved the other kid to tight end a couple weeks ago. So um, again, I don't think it's going to change who they are. And they got two receivers that are really catching the ball well in Rivers and Jackson. And then I'm really impressed with Jackson as a return guy, a punt return and kick return guy. He's doing a nice job. I'm happy to be taking a look at Mike. Is it? Kind of wide open a quarterback. Could you take a look at, at Chris at some point, or is it still kind of 
between between Mike and Chase? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna until the quarterback position looks the way we want it to look. We're gonna we're gonna keep working and making sure we have the the right you know we're getting the right uh, combination there. So, but no, I, I think you know uh, Chris Coyer is gonna get reps as well. But you know right now I would say that. You know, Chester and uh, and Mike will uh, will continue to fight this week, but I think Chris knows and he's been alerted to the fact that uh, he's you know he could be a play away right now. So I know he's going to work hard. Uh, we have a lot of expectations for him. I know he's matured. He's learned a lot about uh, you know our offense, and I think the biggest difference is uh, Mike. You already finally had the maturity level to go in the game. I was I was concerned about that. Game two, three, four, and five, and I started to feel comfortable in game six, and then he went in, in game seven. So you got to you got to be able to, to conduct the game and, and have maturity on and off the field and, and show leadership. I think he did that Saturday. How do you see that as a coach? When do you, when do you know? I guess there's only so much you can gauge from. But is it just a feel thing when you when you say I, I knew he was ready to go on the maturity thing? Is it just something that you base off the field? Yeah, I mean, I watch I watch the interaction. I watch the way they make decisions on the field. I watch their interaction uh, between plays or. You know, before periods, or, or trying to understand what we're trying to get done in certain periods, or uh, where where his eyes are in certain plays, and where he's looking, and, and, and uh, you know, really how he operates. And he started to operate more maturely. He started to, to look more comfortable. And again, it's uh, you know, I'm, I'm, like I said, I think he has talent. You know, and uh, he finally had the maturity and leadership to match it. So that's why he got an opportunity. So Mike had been your number two quarterback since the beginning of the year. So were you? Just really terrified about something happening to Chester, and then what what would happen if he had to go in the game then? I don't know if I was necessarily terrified, but uh, you know uh, there probably were uh, some occasions where I could have put him in if he had the maturity that he has right now, if he had the leadership that he had right now, you know has right now, uh, if he had that maybe a month ago, or you could you could probably make the case if he had that two months ago, it would have been one heck of a battle. And uh, so I think uh, he's got the maturity right now. He has leadership. And I think he, you know, he he has the knowledge of the offense to go in there and and, and operate, and and he, he operated, you know, very nicely to be honest, be quite honest with you. And, and he had a drop on top of what he had, so he could have thrown for you know two and a quarter, been 62, 63 percent. That that'd be a good opening game for anybody. Does it mean a lot to you that Adrian? I mean, his sack totals are down, but the blocked extra point is a difference <clears> in the game. Saturday, he's, he's making, he's finding other ways to, to make a difference in the game. Yeah, that's the message to the team right now. Is you know, let's let's find ways to win and, and uh, let's just go back to playing, you know, the way we want to play and, and, and enjoying the battle. You know, we got a lot of guys that were pressing, and uh, I think Adrian right now helping us. You know, he blocked a punt two weeks ago, blocked a, a field goal this week. I think he he fell on the touchdown. Uh, so, you know, he's. He's making plays, and he's making plays because he's, he's playing hard and he's playing for six seconds, and when you do that, good things will, will happen, and I hope there's a bunch of other guys that start to, to see that. I know this. I'm really uh, I'm, I'm pleased with his effort, and uh, I'm pleased with the way he rushed. I know he didn't total a lot of sacks, but they're, 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 you know, he put a lot of pressure on that kid. There could have been multiple holding calls, uh, and you know, he, he made the kid uncomfortable in the pocket. Last week you said Jaquan was probably the best tackler you've ever been around. Yep. Uh, where would you put Muhammad in terms of defensive interior line and not ends or anything? Just defensive nose tackle. Yeah, just the uh, the best athlete. I mean, he's he's a tremendous athlete. For for people forget, he's 305 pounds. Um, Chris Northern, you know, he's chasing down the flare screen from inside out from his you know from his tackle position or from his end position, with, you know, whichever defense we're in. That's that's really impressive, and he did it again last week. And obviously, uh, he's very durable. He plays at a high clip. Uh, his his football intelligence is excellent, and uh, he's bringing it to the game right now. So I'm really impressed with Muhammad's season right now. Just the overall body of work, I think, is is really impressive. And uh, he plays with his hands real well. He defeats blocks. Just I'm really excited about him.